Welcome to this video where we will learn how to periodically extract website data to Google Sheets. Firstly, we will explore how to pull website data to Google Sheets using the import XML function. Although there are several ways to do this, in this example, we will use import XML. If you want to learn about other methods, check the blog post linked in the description. To use the import XML function, we need two parameters, URL and path. To demonstrate this, let's import the current Bitcoin price from the Yahoo Finance page. To get the URL, go to the Bitcoin price page, copy the URL, and paste it in cell B1. Next, we need this path to BTC price. To get it, right-click on the BTC price and select Inspect. This will open the developer tool of your browser. You will be taken to the code section relevant to the BTC price. Right-click on the BTC price and select Copy. And then Path. Now paste this path in cell B2. Let's write the import XML function to pull the BTC price. Select cell B1 for the URL and B2 for this path, and hit enter to get the BTC price. Similarly, we can pull other data from the same URL using relevance paths. Let's import market cap and the 24-hour volume. We will also add the current timestamp to track the time. Before moving on let's do some formatting to our sheet. We have now extracted the live BTC data to Google Sheets. Let's rename the sheet as current price and create another sheet called price history. To copy the BTC price from the current price sheet to the price history sheet, we need to write a Google Apps script. Go to extensions and select Apps script to open the script editor. Rename the project Create a function called copy data and declare a constant to get the active spreadsheet. We will copy data from the current price sheet to the price history sheet. and our copy range is A7 to E7. Let's get the source sheet and destination sheet using the get sheet by name function. After getting the source values, let's loop through each row and append them to the price history sheet.
Run the code to test it. When you run the app script for the first time, it will request your authorization to run the code in your Google account. Click Review Permissions, select your Google account. Click Advanced Link, and click the link with your app script name. Click Allow. Now you can see that the data is copied to the price history sheet. Let's apply some formattings to the sheet. Then let's automate this script to run at some intervals. We can use time-driven triggers for this. To create triggers, go to Triggers and click the Add Trigger button. Select Time Driven as the event source. Select the time-based trigger type and interval according to your requirement. And click Save. Now, the script will run automatically at your selected interval and copy the Bitcoin price from the current price sheet to the price history sheet. You can make a copy of the Google Sheet linked in the description and modify it to pull data from your websites, and use it to extract website data to Google Sheets.